Have you ever considered the degree to which men or women are dependent upon one another? This question makes you wonder how dependent men and women are on one another, and it occasionally enters your mind. So, can women exist without a man? And I don't mean this in a dire, life or death kind of way. Would they still be able to live their lives as they do now if the males in their lives were no longer there? How would society change if men were completely self-sufficient and did not need the affirmation or acknowledgement of women in any way? In line with this hypothesis, we can also assert that women would be completely independent of men and would not need to be subject to any sort of control by social or cultural systems. If I look around me at the examples of women who have actually lived and prospered independently in popular culture, I don't find many of those. Yes, they have flourished via the use of the resources a guy has brought into her life, but not through her own hard work and perseverance. If I look at single women, they spend their entire lives trying to get the attention and approval of the guys they find attractive. But would it be the end for all males if they all decided they were done with women and would have to live alone? Do you agree with the assertion that they may succeed on their own? We think so. We think men would be better off without women in their lives as partners and companions. Without further ado, here are six reasons why men are better off without women in their lives. Number one, men can make better use of their resources. The majority of married women, including those who pay rent or a mortgage, electricity, food, gasoline, clothing, vacations, medical care, insurance, and other costs, rely heavily on their husbands to cover these and other expenses. Despite being successful working mothers, they still rely on their partners for the majority of things. They depend on them to perform household tasks like fixing the ceiling, the plumbing, the painting, and the home's machinery. The money provided under the law is typically used by single, divorced women to maintain themselves and their children. An ex-husband normally sends these resources on a monthly basis. In my environment and from the people I know and have seen, women cannot live freely without men. But I'm really curious to know why this happens. If women are equal to men and are capable of carrying out all activities that men are, why are they so reliant on them? Maybe it has to do with the social expectations that are gender-specific. Maybe men are always supposed to provide and supply the means of subsistence, while women are expected to raise the young. The majority of women, however, do not share this opinion. They feel that they are responsible for much more than just parenting children because of the universe and environment. They are supposed to manage large enterprises, run the government, fight crime, command the military and work as patrol officers in addition to holding positions in the ministry. Number 2. Men can make better use of their energy. Will women still require men in their life if they succeed in becoming military leaders or oil engineers? And for what? How will things change? Or would she still need a partner or a friend to help out around the house even after she becomes a minister? If these women are so successful in their careers and even if they believe they don't need males, would they continue to live this way for the rest of their lives? Gentlemen, pay close attention. Because of the decisions they made as young adults, the majority of women are now in financial trouble. They made decisions that lasted well past their middle age. I've seen it time and time again, and one instance of this would be a young woman who became pregnant after dating a stereotypical bad boy. Now the father, who is also a teenager and has tattoos on his arms, is not going to take care of the newborn since he's just not ready or mature enough. This girl will get pregnant for another man a few years later, and she will give birth to two children on her own, without the help of a father. Women often behave in this way because they struggle to function in settings where men are the dominant gender due to their limited capacity for long-term thought. So, if we look at the other side, do men need women to survive? If yes, then to what extent? What would occur if men lost interest in women? What effect would it have on these ladies in the end? First and foremost, we need to understand that women have only advanced to this degree because men have taken care of and protected them. Without women, we actually cannot procreate and would have long since gone extinct as a species, therefore without them, we wouldn't have lasted to the year 2022, and now almost 2023. Men do not at all need women to survive if they do not want to, 
other from the biological requirement for men and women to procreate and for women to care for and raise the progeny. Number three, men can make better use of their time. With all the time that is required to pursue women, to make them happy, to please them, to communicate with them, and then to constantly listen to them complain about each and everything a man does, men really can make better use of that time to grow and develop themselves as more productive members of society. I mean, I know it might sound harsh, but without women, and given that the men we're talking about don't want to start a family, men would have so much more time on their hands if they lived a life without having a female partner. And in this case, the men are not some sort of loners who go and live in jungles without any human contact. They're functioning members of society with their own like and dislikes, careers, education, and social circles. They're friends with anyone and everyone. The only difference is that they just don't believe in relationships and marriage. Number 4. Only men can establish stability. Women have personally hurt men more than they would have if the male had been left to his own devices and customs. This is because a woman cannot maintain stability in the family without a man, unlike a man can. In addition, because they lack the ability to plan strategically, women frequently take actions that hurt the family unit. Additionally, there is a lot of biology and psychology at play here. Women who have children from prior spouses are unable to perform both the duties of a mother and a father, as can be seen when you watch them in action. Even if she is an excellent mother, she will still desire a replacement for the missing father in order to provide the children with a positive role model. Someone who can help them, take care of them, and protect them from accidents, calamities, insect stings, and other things. Men also feel the need to build things. Throughout the course of human history, men have built houses, shelters, buildings, roads, bridges, and weapons to better their lives and provide for their families. Women have always been lovers of their spouses, mothers of other people's children, and guardians of their own children. They have also been caregivers, healers, and comforters throughout history. Do you understand its importance? Men have consistently fulfilled the roles that nature has given them. Women have never been content with their status throughout the history of humanity because they have always desired what men had. Command, authority, and leadership. And at the moment, women are increasingly filling roles that were formerly filled by men, such as CEO or Prime Minister. Number 5. Women create a lot of problems for men. The problem is that women are unaware of how much their lives would improve if they were in tune with who they truly are or what the universe wants for them. They wouldn't have to engage in combat with masculine foes. They wouldn't experience pain the same way that men do. And males proudly perform that. Women frequently moan while doing that. Men don't behave like women, so you won't see it. They act in this way because they understand their own nature. They keep it straightforward and to the point. There are several reasons why men need women. Even though it may sound misogynistic, Men require women in order to procreate and engage in intimate physical contact. Then they go forth their lives with an understanding that women raise the children while they toil and suffer for the rest of their lives to support the woman and the child. Men still behave in that way now. While the women watch TV and read novels in the bathtub while sipping coffee, men don't expect them to work three jobs in addition to paying the rent. I want to underline that women will always need men, whether or not they want to admit it. However, whatever men do for them and for the family, they still want to be at the place where the men are at. It's a game of power for them. Number 6. Men can live a happier and more independent lifestyle. Without women in the picture, a man will have more time to focus on his goals and ambitions. He will have more time to concentrate on his habits and leisurely activities. He will have more time to focus on his dream project and travel according to his own wishes. Without a woman, a man will be able to make easier decisions and not have to go through dozens of options with a woman only to start from scratch again. Without women in the picture, a man has a lot more to enjoy in this life, and I believe it's only a matter of time before society gives men the freedom to completely choose their own lifestyles without men and understand why they're doing so in the first place. So, these were six reasons why men are better off without women as a red pill truth. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.